Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode four of Birdman Hunting. Um, this week we're going to look at some more dog work like we do every week. And then uh, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about our ongoing dog box project. I know it's uh, kind of might get annoying talking about this dog box every single week, but there is updates to it. And I'm always adding new things, so I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm going to show you the add-ons I did to my dog box. So uh, let's go check out some dog work and uh, I'll meet you back here. Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode four of Birdman Hunting. Um, this week we're going to look at some more dog work like we do every week. And then uh, we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about our ongoing dog box project. I know it's uh, kind of might get annoying talking about this dog box every single week, but there is updates to it. And I'm always adding new things, so I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm gonna show you the add-ons I did to my dog box. So uh, let's go check out some dog work and uh, I'll meet you back here. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, really hope you enjoyed that segment uh, on the uh, dogs working in the field. That was a hunt that I had last week. Um, we did really good. Uh, the guy shot really well. Uh, we only missed a few. So now we're going to talk about my dog box and we're going to get to that and I'll see you when we come back. So here's the uh, Operation Dog Box I have going on here. Um, as you see, we, we did the bottom part already on there. That was just some stickers I had. I thought it was pretty cool. If you, if you come in closer here, open up the door, look inside. I have a uh, made a uh, dog uh, pad and that dog pad is, uh, it's just a dog pad. Foam wrapped up in a cloth and uh, scratch resistance. So I put that in there. We got the top now. So I built this top, got a little knob here, latch, open it up, take a look up down in there. Yeah, pretty fancy. I know. So I put all my gear in there and then uh, how I went ahead and um, connected this box was with these if you can bring it in a little bit more here I uh, had these clamps these hooks and I just uh, put two eyes and a hook and I just tighten them or loosen them to take them off so if I go ahead and loosen it, it just comes off like this and then I got handles and it just pops off now uh, I put some rubber coating at, on the uh, top of the box to protect the um, box from being scratched. So when I put this, load this up, we'll keep that all nice. You just When you're ready, you just go ahead and tighten that up. It would probably help if I went the right way. Give it a couple turns there, and now it's nice and firm, secure, and it doesn't go anywhere. It's pretty solid. 
So I went and go went ahead and uh, we have the power cord for the um, bed, the dog bed. So I put these two hooks here so when I'm not using or I'm in route, I can do a figure eight and wrap this cord up firmly so it's out of the way and it's not getting ruined. So, that, so that's my newest addition. So hope you like my dog box idea. And like I said, um, leave some comments or some questions and I can walk you through how to build this. Um, I don't know what's in store next for it but we're going to see. So I hope you enjoyed episode four. It was a little shorter than it usually is. Um, but uh, leave some comments and questions on maybe, or some suggestions on what you might want to talk about. What some, maybe some things about bird hunting you don't know and maybe you want me to discuss with you. Um, other than that, I'll see you next time in episode five.